this is another timer uh, that I got off a microwave. This is a manual one. Goes ding at the end. And these two were on there. I laid it up on a, a, a miter saw and I cut the two ends, two plastic ends off of it, which left me with this. I then made this wooden box. And I've got a couple of little pieces glued down here in the bottom so that these edges can sit on there like that. All right, let's get it wired up. So we've got an extension cord that comes in. Then another end of an extension cord that comes out. All right, that's got our wires in here, and we're going to use these spade terminals to hook it up. So I'm just going to strip off the ends of my wires. Okay, so the way this thing works is these two wires right here run a clock. A little clock motor right here that actually keeps the time. And then this is where the uh, switching of your power is, or the relay. So this right here has to have a positive and negative come to it um, from the outlet to run the uh, motor. And then this side just needs uh, the positive side, or just one, one side of the AC to uh, here, and then the other side will go out to the plug. So let me get these together so the white wires actually they need to go together so that, so that power will come in through our cord and go out through our plug the white wire will Okay, that'll get us plugged into here. Then the black wire needs to go here. And also then come out. I need the black wire to be here and also here so that it can be switched and come out. So let me go get another little piece of wire to uh, make a tail to go from here to here. Alright, so that's got the power coming in taken care of, and now we need to put a terminal on here to take care of the power coming out. And the last thing we need to do is just join the two ground wires together. Okay, so that's got all our connections made on the wires. So now to put it together, one of the white, ouch. Okay, to put it together, one of the white wires goes here. Well, one of the, one of the leads goes there. The black wire is going to go right here. The other black wire comes to feed our switch right here. And then this last black wire comes right there for power out okay so just to trace it here's our power coming in the white wire goes here connects comes right back out the black wire comes in right here which feeds the other side of our our clock and then this goes over and feeds our switch when you turn the dial this connects and disconnects this switch right here so then it comes back out and goes to our outlet and our ground wire of course just loops in and loops right back out 
Okay, that's got all our connections made, and I'm going to put a put some uh, silicone on these rails just to kind of act as some glue. All right, I want to make sure I got a little bit of silicone on my bell. I want to get that off because it'll deaden it. I want to make sure none of the wires are up against the bell because that'll also deaden it. Okay, now I want to put a couple of wire ties around these cords. You want to push them down real tight. Down in there just like that. And then nip them off. And that'll just keep you from being able to drag, drag the cords back out. Okay, and that's got that sitting down in there better than it was. And then the gaps around here the gaps are right here. Once it dries, I'll put some black silicone around the edge and that'll make it look better. Okay, so then we've got a plate to screw onto the back. Alright, so I'm going to put a little silicone around the edge. Well, let's give it a test. I got a night light plugged in over here. So we turn it on and you turn it to, you know, just whatever you want it to be. Well, let's set it for just a few seconds here. And there you go. You know, I like this old school when it's got that ding at the end, you know, like the first microwaves that came out. And, uh, I've got I've also got another video out there of one I made with a digital timer off of a microwave. So if you're interested you can go watch that one too. Anyway, thank you for watching.